Hey there, Ryan. Alrighty, so in this video, I'm going to show you a few different pointers um, on how Facebook can be used as a powerful tool to generate home buyer leads. Um, you got a pretty good page here. You've been posting some good content on there. Uh, got a lot of likes, which is going to go a long way for you when running these ads. A um, couple of the competitors I'm looking at today. You got uh, Real Estate, Rich Jackson, and uh, the, the Nazaroff team. Um, you know, they got a decent following as well, and uh, they've been running these ads for for a few months now, since about March. This one's February. Um, you know, nobody would run ads for that long if they weren't working halfway decent and providing results, at least paying for themselves, right? Um, so, so I'm going to kind of critique these ads since I can't, you're not currently running any. Um and, and what I'd start off with is is targeting. So, you know, how are you setting the audiences up in the tool? And, and how are you able to reach the ideal customer? Um, now, obviously, with fair housing and, and the housing category on Facebook, you can't, you know, target people based on their age or gender. You can't discriminate that. Um, but you can do detailed targeting on interests in some demographics. I don't even think so. Um, but anyways, what that kind of does is actually reinforces the best practices. Um, what I do is separate the two usually in ad sets. One has detailed targeting, one doesn't. Um, and you kind of find out which one works best and roll with the other. Um, but in this case, it's usually always the, the less detailed targeting simply because, you know, interest can actually, we can get tagged as being interested in something we actually don't really care about or left out of certain categories, right? So, not to mention Facebook wants, you know, Facebook gets paid by its advertisers and, and needs its users to be on its platform as long as possible because it's paying, for the most part, people are paying based on the impression and every time an ad shows up, they get paid, right? So they want the right people to be looking and spending as much time as possible on these ads. Um, so yeah. So when you have that right audience in front of your ad, you know, are you saying the right things um, to get them to become a customer once you have the correct audience um, in front of you, right? So that's where ad copy comes in, um, you know, and that's what makes it so important. What we got with these guys, you know, they, I'd say they kind of have a bit of some lazy ad copy. I mean, two lines, that's not enough. Um, so, you know, AIDA right? Attention, interest, desire, action. Okay. So that's a very, uh, powerful method with, with ad copy. Um, are you outgrowing your current home ready for an upgrade? Okay. So that's a good, good attention grabber, but then they just jump straight to action. You know, check out these Clovis and it's spelled around Clovis homes close to award winning schools centrally located. Um, and the action call to action is pretty lousy too. Um, you know, yeah, check out these homes in Clovis, um, or maybe to check out these homes in Clovis. You know, go ahead and click learn more, the learn more button, and and fill out the form or something like that, right? Um, and that would be the the, the last part, that the action call to action, um, and then. Also, you know, you don't want to be having these long paragraphs. You want to write in smaller lines. People read easier and, and will will kind of put things off if they see a paragraph. Um, and then this is the other the other guys. So what, what these ads are going to do, like I'm sure they're providing, producing um, pretty good results for them. Um, but the thing is, is they're going to be paying more for these leads, basically meaning out of, say, a thousand dollar ad budget, you know, they're going to be got, getting a lot less leads simply because the leads that are being converted might, sure, they might be pretty good leads, serious buyers. Um, but, but the thing is, is so, so here, here's an example, you know, based on your save preferences, our data shows several new houses have been listed. Okay. Like you're going to get the person who's, yeah, you know, probably just came out who just went to to go look at some houses with an agent and they're sitting down on Facebook 
that's the kind of person you might get, you know, who's actively house shopping, but you're not going to get the person, you know, who's considering buying and, and, you know, hasn't really talked with anybody yet or, you know, they're able to buy and yeah, you know, which you may be saying, okay, well, those are just kind of the shoppers, but you know, yeah, maybe, but you're still going to be getting the same kind of leads these people are getting, but you're also going to be building the pipeline a lot more. You're going to be Facebook's going to get a better idea of who's going to like these these ads that you're that you're sending, um, and and you're going to get you're going to be positioned completely different. You know you're going to be positioned more as the expert with the approach that I that I'm going to um, present to you, and what that is 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 a is a home buyer guide, right? So rather than just showing a house, you know. Um, and, and talking about, you know, every single detail was considered in the construction, you know, sure. Um, for, pri for price, location, and photos, okay, cool. You know, who doesn't have price, location, and photos, okay? They, they're not, they're still any kind of agent, you know, they're just another agent in, in these people's eyes that are, that are seeing the ad, right? On Facebook, you know, you're interrupting someone in the middle of their day. You know, whether they're at the doctor's office, you know, before they go to bed, wake up, whatever, right? You have to have a pretty sweet offer rather than just pictures of a house or, you know, hey, come check out the house. Um, if you're looking to buy, you know, this is for sale. Okay. But you're not really providing anything, any value to these people other than obviously the, yeah. So, so with the home buyer guide, it also gives you a lot more room to have creative ad copy. That's going to convert these these leads. So you know, again, attention, interest, desire, action. You know, first line maybe something like, you know, attention Fresno Clovis home buyers um, and sellers. You know, and then you engage them with a question. You know, when buying a home or buying or selling a home, you know, should you always be looking for the best value for your offer? Um, you know, obviously the answer is yes. Okay, you kind of get in their interest a little bit. Okay, hook them in a little, um, you know, but how can you make sure you get the best deal? You know, um, okay, you know, that, that and that's kind of a, a question they might be asking themselves, right? How do I know, you know, when they're being shown a house, how do I know this is really like good for me? How do I know this is, you know, at a good price? You know, they might be asking themselves these questions and, you know, maybe they don't really trust the agent they've been you know, who's been showing them some properties. But what this does is kind of establish that trust, that trust right away, positions you as the expert, you know, when you go on to say in the ad, something like, you know, what I'm leading to here is, is we've created for you a free home buyer's guide that's going to show you exactly how to buy a home like a professional. Okay. And all you have to do is click claim offer below. They're not below because on Instagram, that's above. Um, but, you know, all you got to do is click claim offer and, you know, why not? Why not give it a shot? It's only going to help. Something like that, right? And and they go on this form. They give you their info, you know, name, email, phone number. Maybe you, I want to ask, you know, what areas are you looking to buy? Something, something like that. Um, and then you have that info, you know, and, and – you get some some automated text and email going. Not sure if you got that down. Um, if you if you do that with your business, but I can help you out with it. Um, I already have you know a good you know follow up system in place from from one of my mentors who's more experienced in the real estate niche, and and that's something I look to. I'm pretty excited to get involved in um, because you know like I said, I'm getting my license pretty soon here, and and I'm going to be doing this exact strategy for myself but obviously in a different area. Um, so I'd love to help you with the follow-up or, or this whole process in general. Um, so again, free 10-day trial. You put up the ad spend. Um, I'll get out of your hair here. Let this video end. Um, look forward to talking to you soon. All righty.